guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you guys. Most of the stuff is from Amazon, but I do have some random stuff here and there. Um, some home goods, some Starbucks, random stuff. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, to go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, so trust me. You don't want to miss out. Alrighty, with that said, let's get started. I honestly don't know where to start. It's probably going to be all over the place. But then again, what's new? <laughs> you know what? Let me just get this little bag out of the way. All right. My husband and I recently went on a little trip. Um, we went to uh, Branson, Missouri, and they have a Titanic museum there. All right. And I am so, uh, I love the Titanic. Obsessed, of course. I'm obsessed with everything. But you know, I love the Titanic. Um, and we went and it was actually very interesting, very informative, loved it, highly recommend. Um, just like that whole walkway, like where this museum is, like that whole street is crazy. Like you have to have your camera ready because there's so much to see. And we literally just walked down the strip and it was, it was really cool. Um, but anyways, so yes, the Titanic Museum, I did get some souvenirs, of course. Even the paper says Titanic, that is so cute. So of course I had to get a magnet. Um, it is one of these really cool magnets. Let me let me show you close up. So you have the Titanic and then the iceberg and it has like this liquid so it's like ah watch out <laughs> and it has um Titanic written in the back and the starry night sky. Really cool. But beware because the magnets on the back fell off. So I need to glue them back on. But anyways, that is my first little uh souvenir. And then one of my favorite parts of the movie was um when the uh orchestra was there playing and yes they did have a, a part in the museum where they showed the real musicians and um i mean you do think of it as a movie but just to know that all of this happened in real life it's just so crazy um but anyways that part where they were like all right men you know like we'll continue playing or whatever it was it just ever since I was little I was like wow they're so brave and oh and I myself played the viola and I mean I love love string instruments and so <laughs> I love little things okay I love little things and I got myself a little violin oh my god look how adorable oh my gosh I can't it comes with a little bow <laughs> Let me take it out for you. Oh my gosh. And it's a little, I wish it um, like actually played something. You know, that'd be great. But yes. How stinking cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. The case, everything. So, so cute. I can't wait to display this in my little showcase. All right. So we got those out of the way. Um, the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to grab and go because it's literally all over my desk. I don't even know where to, where to begin. So uh, let's go with this guy. Okay. Starbucks. I don't know why I like to collect these cups, but anything glittery and shiny, I just, I go for. <laughs> and I did have the like rose gold version of this and I kept seeing this green one. I was looking for the oil slick one, which seems to just not exist for me. Like I could not find that anywhere, but I did see the green and I loved this like forest emerald green color. And it was just, I was like, all right, you're coming home with me. So this was, how much was this? Uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> for this tumbler um and i thought it'd be perfect for christmas time and saint patrick's day you know the green so this is my new tumbler did get some pop figures these are actually from mad bagger which uh i did get my lounge fly backpacks from them um i don't know if i'm i will be posting my lounge fly haul before or after this video either way um they're called mad bagger and um i do have like a code a coupon code that you can use um i'll include it up here as well as the description box but anyways they sell lounge flies as well as like pop figures and stuff like that which was crazy i didn't even know that and so of course i got some pop figures i got me a snow white which i had this uh, a while ago but i had to get the evil queen <laughs> these are both available on um mad bagger by the way but the evil queen i just I have an idea for a tiered tray, which I mean, you could probably tell already what it's going to be, but 
um yeah so i got the evil queen i was debating on whether getting her with her little like potion bottle and stuff or there's like another version of her on like the peacock throne and i'm obsessed with peacocks they are my favorite bird but i don't know i just loved this like her with her little like little potions and then the little crow and ugh. so I, I went with this version obviously but very very cute they have them both on mad baggers so that's why i was like contemplating but i went with this one and no regrets super super cute i don't know if i want to get the other villains i have this obsession with disney villains so i don't know but for right now i have the evil queen she's my favorite uh disney villain so i did get these ultra thin strap shoe things which um I didn't even know there was such a thing that existed but I specifically got it for a particular pair of shoes which I will be sharing with you guys soon uh, hint hint I'm so excited about these by the way anyways um so these if you've had like a pair of strappy shoes then you know like it kind of creates like a pressure point so these are like these little cushions that you can actually peel off and stick right under the strap to create a little bit of cushioning for you i actually haven't even opened this up yet but i think i saw this on like tiktok or instagram or something this is what they look like very very thin so that they hide behind the strap and i believe they have a black pair as well so if you have black strappy heels um you can use it for that as well but uh, this is what it's called if you want to take a screenshot um if you ever need any links or anything to any items as always, just let me know in the comment section and I will help you find it. But that is going to come in handy soon. For summertime, uh, we love to go to the beach, obviously. And we love to like snorkel. Um, and so we ended up uh, deciding to get some snorkel masks. And it's via this brand, Zip Zipoot. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, there's two different sizes. And I got the small one, my husband got the large one. Um, and it's basically, like, you just put this whole thing over your face. And it, you could just wear it underwater. This will give you the air that you need. Which I thought was so cool. Like, better than, like, the little goggles and putting that thing in your mouth. And, you know, this just, just fits uh, your whole face, which I thought was really cool. We haven't tested it out yet. So I will let you guys know um, if it is worth it or not. But it had some really good reviews on Amazon, so we were like, why not? Um, this is what the back looks like, these little back straps. And it is a pretty snug fit, so, um, which I'm assuming it has to be because otherwise water will be filling up in here and you'll be swimming right along with the fish. I don't really know exactly how this works. I know this is like adjustable. Oh, I don't know. I haven't even played, I literally just got this, so I don't even know how to adjust it or anything, but we'll figure all that out. <laughs> Um, but we're excited to use this. So I did uh, mention that I got some Lululemon socks in my Lululemon haul. I don't know if I'm posting that first or this, but um, either way, look out for the Lululemon um, haul. Uh, I got some Lululemon socks. They're they're known to be really great, but I don't know. Uh, I didn't really think that they were that great, especially for the price. They were like $34 for like three little socks. Um, but I did find a pair on... Amazon and these are very cushiony and soft and um, I, I like ankle socks and so that is what I went with just plain black socks but the cushion on these they had so many reviews too so many positive reviews there's like a little band here um, I don't know if you can tell these are brand new but a band right on the bottom like the arch of your foot which like it's kind of like tight around there so it kind of holds the arch a little and it kind of supports your arch. I, I really like that. And it's just so cushiony. And then the back, um, like right by the ankle, if you can see, it's it's kind of like puffy. Um, I wish it was a little bit thinner, but it helps you like pull up the sock and also prevents it from sliding down, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate when I'm like working out or walking or something and it just, the ankle sock just slides down. So, um, so far, these have been really great. These are pretty thick though, so just beware. But these are so comfortable, so cushiony. These are way more affordable than the Lululemon socks and way better in my opinion. These are thicker than the Lululemon socks, but 
they are so much more comfortable than the Lululemon socks. The Lululemon ones actually slid down. Even though they had like this little tab with like a sticky part on it, they ended up sliding down on me. And I believe they had uh, white uh, socks available in this style and you can get like a mix and match white and black and um i don't know there's a lot of options i hauled these a while ago i got these levi shorts the 501 shorts best pair of denim shorts ever these are my original ones and i love them so much that i wanted to get another pair <laughs> or two <laughs> that's right i got two pairs i'm thinking of returning one of them um, only because, like, you know, I didn't want to buy three pairs of the exact same. I mainly bought them, um, because I wanted to compare sizing. These are all different sizes. The one that I originally have is a very, um, snug, which is what I wanted. They look like Daisy Duke shorts. They're very, very bootylicious, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I wanted a pair that was, um, you know, a little more relaxed, a uh, looser pair. So that is why I got two different sizes. Um, so whichever one I like better, I'm going to keep, but they are literally the same exact thing. The only difference is that these have distressing on like the back po pockets, you know, um, whereas my original one does not. So I don't know if they like recently added that, but it is like legit Levi's. It's actual Levi um, shorts. So, so yeah, anyways, if you're looking for some shorts, check out the 501 Levi shorts very very nice very nice quality i wanted to try the sunday riley sleeping night oil the only thing is it doesn't come like secure like i thought there would be like some tape or something to show that it wasn't like tampered with or opened or previously used it was not and for the price of this thing um it needs to have something like that but um it literally just comes like this and it's like a blue oh gosh you can't even see it it's like a blue liquid um the smell it smells very herbally so um but it does like eventually fade uh kind of it kind of gives a blue tint to your skin which is probably why it's a night like sleeping oil uh, i haven't noticed anything yet but i only used it twice so uh, i don't expect fast results like that but it's supposed to uh, um reduce the appearance of pores wrinkles and premature aging redness all that so we will see. I will keep you posted um, on either Instagram or TikTok. Again, follow me on those platforms. So I will, I, I can update you guys. But, the, but this is called the uh, Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. And I just got the 0.5 ounce um, or 50 milliliters because whenever I'm trying out a new skincare product, I always, always try to go for the smallest available size just because I don't know how my skin will react. So far, so good. I didn't break out or anything, which is fine. Um, but something that I would recommend for you if you are trying either a new uh, skincare product or even a new perfume, anything like that, always go for the little size first because you never know how your skin and your body's gonna react. If you saw my birthday series, uh, my, I think it was called like my friends themed birthday series or something, or birthday haul. Um, it was the first episode of my birthday series this year. My sister got me this mug. This is still my favorite mug ever. It is the cutest, I mean, look at him. Look at this, this is a little, a mixer, a little spoon. And I thought this was the cutest mug ever and I needed more and I found him on Amazon okay um so yes this is this is what my sister got me I found him on Amazon he was the same exact thing the little astronaut with different colors but then I saw <laughs> two other ones that were different okay I know it's not Christmas yet but I love Christmas and I mean, I was like, I'm going to get them anyways. I might as well get them now. So we are having Christmas in July. I literally placed the order in July. So technically it was Christmas in July. Whatever. Anyways, I got not one, but two different Christmas mugs. Are these not the cutest mugs you've ever seen in your life? Ever? I mean... <laughs> so this one says merry christmas and it has a little santa 
It has the star on the side. Oh my gosh. Let me show you real quick. So it's just, uh, it just says Merry Christmas on this side. And that's what it looks like. It's so cute. And this is the little spoon mixer. And the top comes off. So yeah, that is what it looks like. This would be so cute for a tiered tray. But also, how special would it be to have like hot cocoa or something? Yes, that is going to be, both of them are going to be my Christmas mugs this year for sure. So this is the green one. And this one actually has Rudolph as well. And it has Merry Christmas written on there. I like the design of this mug better, I think. <laughs> Maybe because of Rudolph. I love Rudolph. So, yeah. But I love that red color more. But here we have um, Santa again with the little mixer. And again, the little top that comes off. Absolutely adorable. The cutest mugs ever, for sure. And, oh, before I forget, this was the box that the um, Christmas mugs, both of them came in. Uh, let me see. This is the brand. I don't know what what exactly that says. Hua, huagui, huagui. <laughs> Forgive me for my horrible pronunciation. I don't know what it is but that is the brand of the mug and those are all of the stuff that i got from amazon um i did get a couple of things from home goods <sighs> all mugs i have a thing for mugs i collect mugs i it's my thing i don't know well i collect a lot of things if, if you've seen any of my videos <laughs> uh, i like to collect things so um these are definitely not as cute as these uh, mugs that I just showed you, these uh, home goods mugs, but still very beautiful. I have mentioned previously that I am not a big Ray Dunn person. It's just, I don't know. Um, I feel like you either really love it or you really hate it, but I'm literally like right in between. I don't like care either way. Um, I'm not like a collector or anything, but I saw this and I immediately needed it. Snow White. Anything Disney and anything iridescent is just my thing I, lo I love it and this had both iridescent and snow white written on there i mean uh, so um like i mentioned before i'm thinking of doing a tiered tray huh mm -hmm. so that is mainly why i got this okay mainly um this was 9.99 which i remember these being a lot cheaper i thought these were like 7.99 or 6.99 or something like that i don't know why they upped the prices on everything not cool but apparently this is the ray dunn disney princess series so i guess they have more disney princesses out there um and i may have found another disney princess version this one is even more epic if you've seen any of my uh previous videos i may have mentioned once or twice that i have an obsession with mermaids and I saw this and I nearly squeal. I just squealed. I, not nearly, I did squeal in the store, which was a little embarrassing, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes. It's a mermaid thing. And it has this topper. Oh my gosh. And um, it has Ariel right there. And this was $14.99 uh but this is just oh, this is beautiful it's mainly just this that adds to the beauty i wish this was uh iridescent as well but what can you do so i mainly went into home goods because for i don't know three years now i don't even know how long i have been looking for the infamous mickey mouse pumpkin cookie jar i like i have go been going religiously to home goods every single weekend like last year i was oh my gosh i was going crazy and this year uh, the obsession has started again because i'm determined to find that cookie jar i'm determined i already have like the little one i actually have it right here to show you guys i have like the little tea light but the cookie jar is bigger than just a bigger version of this it looks exactly like this um so i'm determined to find that <laughs> hopefully i will find it this year all right, but um, I did end up finding something Mickey pumpkin, which, I mean, 
I was happy about because I was feeling so defeated this day and I was like, are you kidding me? Like I couldn't find anything Disney, any like the home goods was just like we went to like five different home goods. Yeah. But anyways, ended up finding this guy. <laughs> Look how cute! How perfect is he? Oh my goodness. I, this was also on my list of things to find and I just happened upon him. He was on the, uh, what's it called? Like the little racks, like they didn't even have it uh, on the carts, on the carts. Uh, they didn't even put it out yet. And I just happened to walk in and saw him. And luckily I showed up a minute before this other girl. This other girl came in right behind me with, I guess her boyfriend or whatever. She had a Mickey shirt on. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> and she comes in, there were four of these and I grabbed one. And my husband was like, are you sure you just want one? Because you have been obsessing over finding this mug forever. And I was like, yes, I just, I just want one. Because I wanted to leave the other ones for other people like me who have been looking for years. And this girl comes in and she grabs all the other ones. All three of them. The remaining three. And I was like, if I had shown up literally a minute, like she was literally right behind us when we walked in. If I had shown up literally a minute after she walked in, I would not have gotten this. And my husband was like, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for getting me here on time. <laughs> oh, but, oh my gosh. Literally, like as soon as we entered, it was I saw it right there on one of the carts. And I just like made a beeline for it, thankfully, because I would not have gotten this. She literally grabbed all of them. And I, I'm just hoping she grabbed it because she likes it and not to resell all of them that would be such a bummer because that's literally why i left the other ones so that a true disney lover would find it but i don't know anyways um this retails for 9.99 and i feel like it was cheaper in the previous years but again like all the prices are raised this year so we'll see how my shopping goes this year so far it's not <laughs> not looking good because i have shopped a lot a lot so anyways yeah so happy I found him. So, so happy. He's perfect. He's definitely going to be my Halloween mug this year. 100%. Love him. Alrighty, you guys. So that is it for my Amazon slash mug haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.